Evening all, British GT 2024 officially starts with media day tomorrow, but we're here for a sneak peek in the Donington Park pit lane at the 2024 entries. Lots of new cars have arrived over the winter. We're gonna have a look at some of those now, but you're really gonna get the best look at them uh, tomorrow when we cover everything in more detail. One of those new cars is right here for SETI Motorsport. Brand new team for British GT. They've got two Aston Martin Vantage GT4 Evos. Just the one of those Evos with us here at, uh, at Media Day tomorrow. We'll get the second car before Alton. Two seats, reigning teams champions. You'll of course know the, uh, the D2 liveried Merc and uh, Phil Keane joins Ian Loggy this season. But there is a change on the other side of the, of the garage. Uh, title contender James Cottingham, he's moved on to WEC. He's replaced by silver and runner-up Kevin Zay and he's joined by Mercedes factory star Maxi Gertz. On we go to Optimum, back with two McLarens this year. The uh, 720S Evo uh, was a new car with us last year. They've also got the Artura, which is there. Uh, unchanged driver lineup. Oh, sorry, unchanged driver lineup. How silly of me. We've got Tom Gamble uh, joining Mark Radcliffe in uh, the 720S. And Jack Brown, who was a title contender last year, you'll remember he's back in the Artura. On we go, and another new car for us this year the only brand new gt3 that we've got on the grid this year it is the new aston martin vantage uh, gt3 evo just the one of them here at media day uh, the team are actually running the older spec car on the other side of the garage again we'll have another of those cars ready for us at alton can't see very much of it in the dark but i can guarantee you it is an absolute stunner that new vantage the nearies back with the uh, incredible hulk there their mercedes I've also got the uh, orange racing McLaren, which we'll see tomorrow. And nice to have the Supra back as well. This uh, Toyota hasn't been with us. Speedworks, who run the car, haven't been with us since 2022. One of nine GT4 manufacturers with us this season. On to Ram. They have two cars this year and they joined GT4 for the first time. The new BMW that they've got, remember they've switched across from uh, Mercedes. They do still have a Mercedes though, and that's the GT4 variant of it there, as I say. Ram joining GT4 for the first time. Marciello joins John Ferguson in the GT3. We'll see that one tomorrow. Another new Aston Martin Vantage GT3. Three of them on the grid uh, this year. We revealed all three of them last week, and I know this one's going to be a crowd favourite. Aston Martin F1 driver ambassador Jessica Hawkins joins Andrew Howard in the Beach Dean Aston. One of seven full season Silver Am entries. That class is absolutely stacked. Team Parker switching back to Mercedes in uh, GT4. That car has got 2017 GT3 champion Seb Morris in it. Seb hoping to become only the second driver to win both the GT3 and GT4 titles. Greystone GT, unchanged lineup in their Mercedes. Uh, Mike Price and Callum McLeod. And here's a car that's got one of GT4's reigning champions in it. Paddock Motorsport are running Ed McDermott and Matt Cowley this year. Matt is actually away in America, I believe, so won't be at Media Day uh, tomorrow. Paddock have got three cars this year. Uh, we'll obviously remember the, uh, the 720S of uh, Martin Plowman and Mark Smith. That car ran accidentally in black here at Donington at the end of last season. They liked it so much, that they switched it up and kept it uh, for this year. And of course, the Artura as well. That was one of the last cars to be announced last week. Right, it's going to get very dark now as we come on down. Lots of cars still not here. We'll have a quick look at one of the garages that has got cars in it. That's one of Century's BMW M4s. Indeed, it is uh, Century's garage. The other side of the garage, got the second of the M4s in there. Quite loud in here actually, Will, so we'll skip round the front of it. Of course, Century won pretty much all there was to win in GT4 last year. They've got two GT3s as well. Uh, neither of them have been unloaded yet, unfortunately. And down the bottom here, I was hoping to find uh, Barwell, but unfortunately, they're not here. Hopefully see them tomorrow. And we'll hopefully see you tomorrow as well. The gates open for the public at 7.30. Cars are on track at nine o'clock. And then there's a second test session in the afternoon as well, as well as a public pit walk from 12.15. Hope you can join us then.